stroke. There are two types of strokes, uh, ischemic stroke and hemorrhagic stroke. And, and it turns out that uh, the vast majority of strokes are ischemic, that is, a result of occlusion of blood flow to the brain. Uh, brain bleeding or brain hemorrhage is a much more rare condition. It affects uh, about 150,000 people in the United States every year. And uh, remarkably, there are few uh, emerging treatments uh, for hemorrhagic stroke, probably because it is uh, the minority of, of strokes in the United States. Now, hemorrhagic stroke is uh, a, uh, uh, a disease with uh, very significant adverse consequences. So there's a high uh, mortality, 50% of patients uh, die, uh, although our ability to keep people alive longer is, uh, is improving. Um, and uh, as a result, uh, many people are disabled uh, from a hemorrhagic stroke. Our uh, institute is really focused on trying to understand how we can develop treatments. And what is remarkable is that treatments that we're identifying for hemorrhagic stroke actually look like they might be applicable to many diseases in the nervous system. So I think it's a great example of how studying a rare disease can provide insight into uh, uh, d uh, a, uh, a, a wide variety of, of more sporadic conditions that, with, that are much more prevalent.